Hello YouTube Robot Combat Models here, back with another Model Robot Builds video. Of course, it is the most consistent series in the channel. Um, yeah, showing all the robots I have built over the week. Now this one is a little bit lacklustre, I have to say. I think we've got about seven this time, but I think it is a good selection. So hopefully you'll enjoy. I'm going to start off today with an edit. And World of Woodrow, if you're watching, I think you'll be ho hopefully pleased with this one. Um, I have edited my model of Bullfrog. This is still the same model of Bullfrog. It's just totally changed. Um, to make it, you know, up to date. So, uh, when I made my original model of Bullfrog, the uh, official reveal of what the new Bullfrog looked like under World of Woodrow's um, kind of team uh, hadn't come out yet. So I was just basing it off the most up to date one before then. So now that the new version of the camo has come out, by the way, I absolutely love the camo. It looks really cool. Um, <clears throat> yeah. I decided to upgrade it. So it's the same same machine, it's just got a brand new paint job. So that is Bullfrog. Very good, very happy, still the same robot. Probably an even more powerful flipper. Um, and it'll be competing in Heat E of um, Model Wars. So look out for that. Um, definitely one of the favourites. Alright, moving on. Um, this is a robot last week I made lift off which was one of the bot builders robots this week i have made guardian and this is one of hexbug heroes um robots from uh, mini bot wars um and yes i'm pretty happy with it it reached i'm pretty sure this one reached the grand final didn't it of the the newest series spoilers sorry spoilers <laughs> and um yeah so it's a it's a flipper robot and i'm actually quite happy with this one um it's got the little CO two gas bottle in there. Um, it's it's quite a it's quite a powerful flipper. Definitely not the most powerful, but it can toss things. Um, yeah, so it is pretty good. I'm really happy with it. I, I hopefully I've done it just as Hexbug Heroes. Um, I'd love to know what you think in the comments. Um, but yeah, so that is Guardian. Really happy with the way this one turned out. Definitely one of the cool flipper robots. So. Next up, Eagle's Claw, of course. It's getting a little bit tattered and worn. I am making a successor to it soon. But right now, I do have a team made for it in the form of another bird of prey. This one's kind of funny, but it's actually really good as well. It's called Angry Cara Cara. And um, a Cara Cara is a type of bird of prey. Um, and this one's angry. Um, so really, it is just a pusher bot. It's got a uh, powerful two-wheel drive here, and it's got a beak, which is like... A front pusher and it's actually it's actually really good it can get under robots very easily and yeah you don't really see lots of robots with this uh, kind of I don't know like tetrahedron, tetrahedron shaped um like spike on the front but it actually works really well so yeah there's angry caracara I think uh, it's obviously painted to look like a caracara in real life and I, I think it's done a really good job I actually really like this one so I'm happy with that one and um, next up this was a video that came out yesterday, and this is Psycho Sprout and Sproutlings. This was a really fun one to make. It really was just painting polystyrene balls, really. That was all it is. And it's kind of a joke more than anything, and these will not stay in the same position, so... <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to put them there. Um, so they all have little faces on it. Psycho Sprout in itself, I think it was about 20 kilograms. This would not be big enough, so I've kind of made it a cluster bot. So definitely not going to be winning Model Wars anytime soon. But, you know, fun to have. And next up, this is one that isn't actually quite finished yet. And I've used the polystyrene balls again to make an extremely iconic robot, which is the Master. This is just a temporary little grabbing weapon on the front. I'm going to make its signature um, circular saw and its lifter on the back. Um, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to knock this together in time to show you. Um, so yeah, it's got the, uh, the circular wheels and of course this is a legend. I think it won in 1995, so before most robots were ever even made. Um, so yeah, that is the master. Pretty happy with that one. Should be finishing up quite soon. Um, next up we'll go on to um, a featherweight robot, which competed in 
the UK Championships this year, and it's called Track, which is short for The Robots Are Coming. And, um, yeah, this was made by a team member that was in um, Team Nuts. I can't remember his name. And it's a successor to Take Cover, which competed in last year's Featherweight Championships. And it is a Melty Brain Spinner robot. And I've actually perfected my spinners now. Um, my only other like proper full body spinner is Kronos, which is also going to be competing in Heat E. But um, Track, I think I've perfected the design. It's a lot more powerful now. So if I just give it a spin, you can see it stays for quite a long time. Uh, that was just like a slow spin. Oh dear. Sometimes, sometimes it'll just ping like that. Um, but yeah, it, it's a pretty powerful full body spinner. Um, it can definitely knock some robots quite powerfully, so if I start spinning it around, I can knock Guardian into it. It is quite powerful, you'll just have to take my word for it. Quite hard to show you. But uh, yeah, that's a uh, track, so quite a technical one, and I really like that. So we're going to finish off today with another really, really cool one. Um, I used to have this robot all the time, and it used to compete in every championship I had, and I finally got around to making a new one. And this is, of course, Mighty Mouse. Definitely a fan favourite, in my opinion. One of my favourites, anyway. And uh, Mighty Mouse, great fun machine. Obviously, that's the roll bar here, and it's got the, the the front red spike. And Mighty Mouse, come on, you got to love it. It's, it's a fantastic machine. And, yeah, I'm actually really happy with the way this one turned out. It's got the ears, the wheels, the eyes, the nose. Yeah, just about everything Mighty Mouse, really. And um, I was going to make Philosopher and then I realised it's a really tough shape. Although I might make Mega Mouse soon. I think I might do that. But yeah, that is just about all the robots for this week. I'd probably say I, I'm, I'm going to... I'm not going to count Bullfrog. I really do like the new Bullfrog um, and the way I've done it. Um, but since it's technically already been built prior to this, I'm not counting it. So out of my... I'd probably say my top three robots this week are um, Track, simply for the technicality of it. I really like it. Mighty Mouse, because it looks cool, and Angry Karakara. I'd probably give the win to Angry Karakara, though, uh, simply because it's my design and I'm biased. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you very much for watching. It was a little bit shorter than normal, this model builds video, but, um, yeah, I think there are a few good ones in it. So, yeah, once again, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!